Hello everyone, welcome to my channel when I want to share you some tips and insights on how to improve ourselves and our life with the help of Islamic value, okay? In today's video, we are going to talk about how humans strive to attain our ideal version of ourselves and how can we do that in a way that, that is pleasing Allah, the God, and make it beneficial to us, uh, all of us, and also the human around us. We will share something with you, uh, some maybe some kind of case study that we can learn together. But before we get into that, please make subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. And if you have this video helpful please give thumbs up and share it with your friends and family okay so uh, let's get started okay so the ideal version of ourselves is that what we can be in our every situation to be an ideal it is the person that we aspire to become who reflects our true personality our beliefs our values and also our goals it is not a state of perfection but it is the state of authenticity that is where we are true to ourselves and to our values uh, in the concept of the ideal self is not something new or foreign to islamic value in fact allah teaches us that allah has created us with a great potential and has given us the guide and the role model to help us to achieve it. Like Allah said in the Al-Quran, He is the one who sent amongst the illiterate people an apostle from among themselves who recites to them his verses and purifies them and teach them the book and the wisdom. This verse shows that Allah sent Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a role model and a, as a guide for us to attain our ideal self. The Prophet Muhammad recited the Al-Quran to us which contains the word of Allah and the guidance for our success in our life and also the hereafter the all the nabi muhammad uh, prophet muhammad also purifying us from our sins ignorance bad habits and he taught us how to worship Allah and live according to his commands. The Prophet Muhammad also taught us the book and the wisdom which are the sources of knowledge and understanding to help us improve ourselves in every kind of aspect in our life. So by the following Al-Quran and the Sunnah, uh, how can we pursue our ideal self in Islam? Okay, so first thing first, about the ideal itself, okay? Pursuing the ideal uh, have some benefits for our personal and also our professional life. Here is some of them. It gives us some sense of a purpose, a direction. When we have a clear vision of who we want to be and what we want to achieve, we are more motivated and also focus on our actions. We also have a better understanding of our strength, our weakness, and how to leverage them for our success. It boosts our confidence and also the self-esteem. When we align our action with our values and our goals, we feel more satisfied and fulfilled with ourselves. We also develop a positive self-image and healthy self-respect, which help us overcome the challenges and also the setbacks. It ends on our creativity and productivity when we are in touch with our true self. We are more open to the new idea and also the new experience. We also have more energy and also the more enthusiasm for our works and also our hobbies as they are reflecting our person and our interest, right? Okay. And also, don't forget that it could also improve our relationship and our communication. When we are authentic and we are honest with ourselves, we are also more authentic and more us with the others we are able to express our feelings and opinions clearly and also respectfully and listen empathically also to the others we can also attract people who share ourselves uh, our values our vision and also supporting our god so uh how is it how to do that okay pursuing the our ideal self is not easy or I don't think it will be a straightforward. It requires courage, commitment, effort, and also it requires some kind of flexibility, adaptability, and also the resilience. It is not a destination, but this is a journey that will never end until we achieve them in the hereafter. However, there is some steps that we can learn uh, together to regard to achieve our ideal version of ourselves first. We need to first thing first identify our values and our goals. What are make the things that matters to us in our life? What are the things that make us happy, make us fulfilled? What are the things that we want to achieve to contribute to the world? Write them, prioritize them according to their importance. So we won't achieve anything unless we know first about ourselves. Okay. And the second thing is after we are prioritizing it, we need to assess our current situation, how close or how far we are from our ideal self. What are the gap or our discrepancies? differences between who we are now and what we want to be. What are the factors that help or hinder our progress? Please just be honest and be realistic with yourself. After we know the gap already, we should make a plan. 
we made a plan of action based on our assessment. Well, what are the specific action that we need to take move closer to our ideal self? What are the resources that we need or we have access to? What are the obstacles that we might face or overcome? How will we measure our progress? How we define our success? We need also to set a smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound goals for ourselves. Okay. After that, uh, also, of course, we need to implement our plan of action, start taking action toward our ideal self today. Do not just wait for the perfect moment or the opportunity as they will never come, okay? Uh, take a small, consistent step every day and celebrate our achievement along the way. Seek feedback and support from our people, from the people around us who can help us grow and improve. And finally, never forget to review and revise your plan of action. As you pursuing your ideal self, you might encounter new challenges and also new opportunities that require you to adjust your plan of action. You might also discover a new aspect of yourself that change your vision of your ideal self. Just be flexible and be adaptable to changing circumstances, but never lose sight of your core values and also your goals okay and last but not least so uh, pursuing the ideal self uh, pursuing our ideal self is a worthwhile endeavor that we can help it achieve our potential in our life and in business it could help us to discover our true self boost our confidence boost our self-esteem enhancing our creativity and also give us more productivity uh, never, uh, don't forget also that it should help improve our relationship with the others our communication and the most important thing is will giving us a sense of purpose and also direction in life however pursuing the ideal self is never be easy or straightforward it requires a courage a commitment an effort it also requiring some flexibility adaptability and also the resilience on it it is not a destination it is a journey that never end and yeah i believe that you are already the best version of yourself you just need to realize it guys okay and maybe uh, that's all from me thank you for watching this video i hope you find it helpful and inspiring if you did please give thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the bell icon button so you won't miss any of my video uh, i would love to hear from you in the comments below what are your values and your goals how are you pursuing your ideal self what are the challenges and opportunities you face what have you encountered let me know in the comment right until next time may allah bless all of us okay thank you so much all assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh